You got the wings on the you know, where they had, you know, numbered pairs. If, you, if I poured it right here, I love you guys. Thank you guys for tuning in today. Before we get into it, please leave a like. I'm coming, baby. I'm moving, you know? So, uh, Dana, what do you usually look, look for? Right off the bat, bro, these are $110 shoes. What's up, guys? It's your boy, Bainith. Uh, heard you guys want to see a little bit of my crib, a little bit of my collection, so come on in, come on. Come on, come on, come on. All right, so today, like I said, we're gonna show some of my sneakers, uh, some of my jewelry, a little bit of my Supreme collection, you know, a little all that. Um, before we get into it, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. All right, let's go, come on. Wait, 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 wait. So look, I'll be honest with you guys. My sneaker collection is not as big as you know, Five Ways, formerly known as Palm Pilot. So we're gonna bring all my sneakers up to the front. We're gonna bring this party up to you guys. Alright guys, so you know I brought my collection out front to show you guys. Uh, I don't have a you know big ass room just like Jordan does, you know, sneaker collection with like a million shoes. Um, but I'm gonna show you a couple things that I got, you know, my jewelry, my watches, uh, my top five sneakers, and a little bit of everything, you know. So let's get into it. First things first, a little bit of jewelry action, alright? Um, a little Louis Vuitton, you know, some slight. Uh, this is the bracelet from the Virgil collection. Um, has the you know little titanium, little gold. Uh, it's probably one of my favorite bracelets that I have, and uh, super you know everyday piece. Some more Louis action. One of my favorite sunglasses that I have. Uh, the Millionaires makes you feel like a millionaire when you wear them. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I got custom lenses on these. So they originally come with a, you know, flat black uh, lens on it. Um, I got the reflective gold laces, or not gold laces, reflective gold lenses on these. Um, but it's super dope, you know. Do a little modeling for you guys, you know. Ching, 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 ching. I feel like a million bucks right now, all right. Um, so yeah, um, those are my little jewelry, nothing crazy. Uh, watch collection. Got the Yachtmaster Rhodium. Super dope. One of my favorite watches, probably one of my most recent cops that I had. Um, pretty dope. Has a like, bi directional dial so you can move it like both ways. Um, currently wearing the Submariner. It's like reference number 114060. Uh, no date. Super dope. Uh, probably one of my favorites just because it's black and gray, you can wear it with anything. Um, another watch that I have, a little AP action, Automat Spaghetti. Spaghetti, you know? Um, but they have these in three colors. They have them in black, they have them in white, and they also have them in blue. I wanted something that popped, so you know, I went with the white color. Something, you know, a little loud. Uh, another one that I have in my collection, with this, we're still in the box, you know? Keep all my boxes, very important. Uh, keeps the value, kind of like uh, when people have sneakers and they have like OG all, same thing, goes with watches, if you have the papers in the box, you know. Um, this watch I actually got for my birthday and I love it. I don't really wear it that much just cause it's kind of sentimental for me. But super clean watch, uh, it's a two-tone Ever Rose Gold uh, GMT Master. Super clean. Um, now that we talked about my jewelry and my watches, we're gonna get into the good stuff, all right? We're gonna talk about the sneakers. This is all you guys came for. So, first we're gonna go with uh, just some regular shoes, nothing crazy. Um, got some neighborhood vans with a collaboration with Uncle Tune. It's an artist from California. He does like tattoo artist slash graffiti artist. Um, Kind of sentimental just because I'm from California, so I feel like I had to get them, you know. But nonetheless, super cool. Nothing crazy. Um, another shoe that we have right here, Marty McFly SBs, uh, no box. 
Got these for a really good deal. So, you know, everyday shoe, I've seen some wear, nothing crazy. Um, but yeah. Another one that I have is the Human Races. These actually came out for Pharrell's birthday and they never released, so it's like a sample. I used to have the uh, sample bag that it came with. It's like a sample, not for resale. It's like a normal white bag, but I think I lost it uh, when we moved, so. But super clean shoe. Doesn't see that much wear just because it's an all white shoe. It gets really dirty, so. Another shoe that I have is the Customs. Super clean shoe. Got the shoe because I really liked it. Uh, I like the story behind it, you know. Nothing too crazy. Next is, open a little flap for you, a little ting, 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 ting. you know what I'm saying? A little ting, ting action. Um, Virgil shoe, most of you guys already know what this shoe is. Um, it came out in three colorways, the UNC colorway, the white colorway, which is the one I have, and the Chicago colorway. Uh, I tr traded my Chicago's for these when I was in Florida. Um, I really, really like these shoes, um, as you can tell. Put a lot of miles on these Lamborghinis, you know what I'm saying? But, um, little beaters. Um, this shoe, Nike Civilist Dunk. Uh, we did a review on these on, uh, you know, the page, uh, YouTube page. Um, the whole box is a special box, so if you um, put some heat on it, it'll actually change color like the shoe does. Like I said, check out that video we did on this shoe, give you a little bit more information on it. Um, but it's an all black shoe, uh, changes color like I said. Um, I wear it a lot just because it's an all black shoe and I shouldn't because you know the creases and all that, changes colors and it really shows the wear, but you know, wear your kicks. Uh, inside of the box is super crazy. But yeah. Um, another pair of shoes I got is the Mars Landings. I got these when they first came out. Um, the Moon Landings are really cool. Really cool. Um, this is what they, you know, played off of. But super dope shoes, like 3M Upper. Um, Big fan of like space and stuff, so you know, I had to get them for the personal. Another shoe, um, it's nothing really like crazy, um, but this is like my first pair of shoes I ever bought with like my own money. Um, I was like around 16, and these came out, and they're about to release like an all red colorway, but it resembled the um Yeezy 2 Red October so much that they kind of canceled it. As you can tell, this one kind of resembles the uh, Yeezy 2 Plats that um, was kind of my grail shoe and I wish I had. Um, I don't really wear these anymore. I just kind of have them just for like sentimental value and you know, memories, but super dope shoe when it first came out. And now, getting to the really good stuff, all right? The heaters, all right, listen. You know what I'm saying? So first things first, Fragments, all right? Um, I try not to wear these a lot, even though it's like a really easy shoe to wear a lot. But, um, you know, super dope shoe. They did a collab with uh, Fragment Design, which is like a Japanese brand. And, um, you know, made their own shoe, Jordan 1. Um, my boy uh, Jordan just copped a pair. Um, still haven't seen him wear one, so, you know, hopefully he'll wear his soon. We can do a little matchy match, you know what I'm saying? But um, one of my top five shoes right there. Um, I was just talking about these. The um, Easy 2 Plats. I still have the bag and everything, the aglets, the box. A lot of people don't have all the original stuff for it. But one of my favorite shoes. It was kind of like a full circle moment when I first got these. I showed you guys those uh, trainers that I had that resembled these Easy Plats. And it was a good, you know, reflection because it's like, dang, like I finally got my grill shoe, but super dope shoe. Part of my top five. I'm 
Another shoe in my top five collection is the Supreme Air Jordan 5. Super clean. They came out in three colorways. They did a black, they did a white, and they did a camo. Uh, wasn't a big fan of the camo. Um, I really, really wanted these black ones, and I finally found someone that was selling my, uh, my size, and I got it for a really good price, so couldn't pass it up. But super clean shoe, Supreme hits on the side. Uh, tongue has like the Supreme Air Jordan. Pretty dope. One of my favorites. Um, another one of my favorites is the, I'm pretty sure you guys can tell, just from the box, Air Jordan 1, Travis Scott. All right. Really, really, really great shoe. Um, I had my first pair of these like two months early before they dropped and uh, I did a really big mistake, ended up cleaning them um, with like a rejuvenator crab, you know, just basic cleaner because um, they got dirty. Ended up ruining the suede. So if you guys ever want to clean your Travis Scott's dirty, please do not clean them with any like rejuvenator or anything like that because they will get ruined. But I uh, had my first pair. After I, I ruined the suede, I ended up just turning them into beaters and just like took them to concerts and all that, all that fun stuff. And then I ended up getting my second pair, which is this pair. And uh, I don't really wear this pair as much as I, you know, used to wear my first pair, but super dope shoe. Travis Scott did his thing with this. And you know, last but not least, another one of my favorite shoes that I have in my collection. And Dior Jordan 1. All right, this one is number 3,400 out of 8,500. Italian leather upper. I'm sure you guys uh, know a lot about this shoe. Um, probably like one of the sneaker of the years for last year. Um, super dope shoe. Um, I try to wear them. I wear them a lot, but not like crazy a lot, but if you guys don't know what a used pair looks like, this is what a used pair looks like. A lot of people don't wear them. You know, they keep the bottoms like super icy, but I'm a big person on just like, you know, wearing your shoes and, you know, I feel like I shouldn't have shoes just sitting around, not, not wearing them, but you know, super dope shoe. Um, whenever I go out to like dinner and stuff like that, you know, fancy dinner, put these on, rock them. But yeah, another thing that I forgot to mention, is a little Supreme action, you know what I'm saying? Um, got some box logos over here that I wanna, wanna show you guys. They're part of my clothing collection. Um, super simple and clean. Uh, original 20th anniversary box logo, uh, white on red. It's a little faded just cause I wear it a lot. It's probably one of my favorite tees. Another one that I have is my friends and family box logo, black on black. Super dope. Um, Supreme Louis Vuitton, this whole collection was literally insane. Um, I got the card holder and I wore it to death and just kind of like let it sit in my um, room because it's so worn. But um, super dope tee. That whole collection was insane, like I said. Sarvaski box logo. You know, nothing crazy. Uh, I really wanted the uh, hoodie that came out, the gray and red hoodie. That hoodie is dope. Um, have the Paris opening tee, white on black. We got the COVID-19 box logo with a uh, special guest Murakami. Um, all his designs are super dope. Um, I love his art and everything. Um, they did a collab with Murakami, did a COVID-19 relief box logo. All the money went to COVID-19, you know, research and stuff. Super dope cause. Another one that I have is the 20th anniversary red on red. Don't really wear it that much just cause it's really loud, but you know, whenever I do some crazy fits, I want to do some, you know, a little flexing, gotta wear this one. And last but not least, have this one framed. It's a Sopranos box logo. Um, but yeah, they did a limited amount of these, probably like, I wanna say 20, 25 of these. 
and they got seasoned assist just because of the Sopranos logo that I had on there. So they never released. They go for crazy amounts of money. So I, you know, framed it, kept it on there. Um, other things that I have, a uh, little friends and family um, Supreme sticker. Some of these stickers go for like a lot of money. So I just kind of kept them. 9-11 uh, relief box logo sticker. Whenever 9-11 happened, they did a T and they also released some stickers with it. Uh, Arabic box logo sticker. And a little Supreme Louis Vuitton sticker. OG. But yeah, that pretty much wraps up everything as far as my collection goes. You saw my sneakers, you saw my watches, you saw my jewelry. Um, if you guys like this kind of stuff, please leave a like, comment, share, and subscribe. We're almost at a thousand uh, subscribers. So when we do, do hit that thousand, we're gonna give away 500 bucks to one of you lucky watchers, all right? So like I said, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.